it's Rob here and welcome to this episode where I've installed a driver to my Tamiya Asterion on the XV01T chassis so uh, we'll have a look in and uh, see what I went on this is as I said in my intro I was wanted to make a sort of cockpit to uh, hide some of this gubbins on my uh, XV01 Asterion um, and originally I was contemplating putting um, something like this in which is uh, the holiday buggy driver but uh, I thought well it is actually a racing body and having a bloke driving around with uh, a t-shirt on is not quite right and then I discovered that if I lowered the floor that one of these um, bruiser driver figures would fit in even with the crash helmeted head on so uh, I've started to paint him up so to create the uh, cockpit floor shall we say I made up a template in originally as you can see with any design I've uh, changed it during the manufacture of it and uh, cut it out of paper and then marked up where I thought the bends were going to be and obviously did some adjustments there and then I've made the actual floor out of this uh, corrugated plastic that I've used in the past and to get the bends because I've got the corrugations running at 90 degrees to the shall we say the length I'm able to cut down just one of the uh, flats of the corrugation and then that makes it easier to bend and then if you fill that gap with hot glue and let it set it stays where it is and uh, kind of makes it quite stiff so that's that I then decided that uh, because he's got this cut out because he's meant to sit on the uh, bench seat of uh, the bruiser that uh, I'd make a seat up for him so uh, there he goes he can sit in there and I've made that using this uh, not very dense foam that I think a brushless motor and ESC combo came in um, I always save these bits just in case for making things like this as you can see it's not that dense and then I'm just in the process of uh, finishing this backrest for him with the hip support and helmet support and similar to the plastic of the floor to get it to bend what I've done is cut a slot in opened it up to where I want the bend and then filled it full of hot glue as well and that will just need to sit in something like so I will try and lift it up but it will probably fall out so you can see so there he is with his seat but uh, yes I've got to glue that on now and I may well hot glue it onto the back of the driver as well but we'll see once we've finished so I'll get on and uh, do some more painting I think and uh, a bit more gluing and get back to you shortly right so we're almost ready to uh, get it all installed as you can see I've now painted my driver in a fetching metallic blue and is it gonna and I've painted it helmet and you can possibly just see this clear blue that I've gone over just the bottom of the silver vaguely 
flamey things that I've uh, masked off and painted. And there's his ugly face. Ooh, there we go. And we've done his gloves in uh, a matte dark blue. So that's the driver. The actual cockpit is now almost finished. It's just a few strands of hot glue to get rid of. So there's the seat. I've also made up a uh, dashboard basically to hold the steering wheel in place. And this is some more of this corrugated plastic joined together, three bits. And then what I've done once all that's dried is uh, I've stuck some paper over it just to tidy it all up and hide some of these uh, big holes in the top here etc and then painted it black again so that's all ready and then the steering wheel we've got some M3 threaded bar um, a bit of this rubber tubing that I've got and then if you can see there I cut out the uh, flappy paddle gear change and what I did there was uh, sort of drew half a design on a bit of paper after getting the dimensions of the steering wheel and once I'd done that I folded it over in the middle before cutting it out to hopefully make sure but they were the same either side but then cutting it out of plastic isn't as easy as paper and this is what I used if you can see it's the top off one of my paint tins so it's quite thin bendy plastic and obviously cut round stuck the template on after unfolding it and uh, cut round that and tidied it up a bit so um, I've got another coat of uh, gloss varnish to put on his helmet before I put him in and uh, he should fit in like that he says let's just hold him like that so there's a bit of a gap but hey as I say I may contemplate gluing that on I can't see that I'm ever going to take him out so we might try that just to keep the seat from flapping while he's driving and there we go So, I'll get it finished and uh, show you the end result. And here it is, finished. There we see, the driver's installed. I'll put a bit of, uh, I think it's 0.8mm aluminium scrap that I've got left just to uh, support or strengthen the nut holding the driver in. I have put a bit of glue on his helmet. I think that's still got to set properly. But uh, there he is. Ooh. In all his glory. Ready to go in. And there he sits. Oops. Just about ready to go. So with that I hope you've enjoyed this little insight and uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Cheers! Bye!